So, we'll go over here. These guys are hanging out in the hammock, and we'll just kind of canvas this area. Let's do a little Q&A. Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Good. I'm just kind of walking around doing a kind of a social experiment. Want to pique your interest? A little bit? Okay. I am. Do you, we're, I'm Facebook Live actually. Millions of billions of people from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I just got. I'm, you know, I, I just want people to answer this question so I can go home. Um, I just making a statement, and I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I got satellites aren't real. Yeah. What do you think about that statement? I disagree with it. <laughs> right. Pretty ludicrous statement, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. So, with that being said, does this look like a picture of a real satellite? No. Will you? Okay. So you got discernment on what is real and what's fake. Okay, so if this is a picture of a fake satellite in space, how do you know satellites are real then? Because of science, right? Like because of science, huh? No, no, no. They like, All right. like NASA posts images taken from like space shuttles, yeah. right? This looks like something generated on a computer. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. And so what if I was to tell you that all of the pictures, when you Google image satellites in space, this is all you get? Like, you get all CGI images from a third-person view of a satellite in space. <laughs> Boom. That's this. This is Viasat. This is a satellite that's supposed to be launched June 1st from... What would you take a picture of a satellite? Right. Another satellite? Exactly. How do you crash? I don't yeah. know. How do you take a picture of a satellite in space? I don't know. From the International Space Station? Yeah, I'll get to that. I'll challenge you. Uh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I want to be done with it. I know. I want to be done with this too. I want to go home because I do this every day for the last week and a half, and nobody yeah. can, nobody can debunk what I'm trying to offer. What do you offer? So what is that? Well, I'm offering you to 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 read an article called Newsweek Undersea Cables, and that article says that 99% of all of our communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. And the other 1% is landlines. So like old school phones and stuff, we still have that. What? Yeah. <laughs> so that How equals... Are you Facebook living right now without like you and the wires and that I don't, How right? But what did I just say? All of our communication is done through ground towers. So how glo how what people perceive as global positioning system, it's actually called ground. And when your phone connects wirelessly to that ground tower, that's how you get cell phone service. And those fiber optics go to your, for example, you know, Verizon, Sprint, AT&T. Sure. But that's where it starts and ends. There are no satellites that communicate <laughs> with your phone. Okay, so then what's the wild? Is there a follow-up? There is. So she mentioned the ISS. Okay. okay. So if you live stream the ISS at any point today or next week or whatever, it takes a long time to process. I know this is kind of information overload, yeah. but if you stream the ISS live, you will not see any satellites. I haven't, right? And so if you watch it for like 20 minutes, count how many satellites you see. And if you see one, I'll buy you a pint for each one that you see, all of you. All four of you, I'll take you out to dinner, buy whatever you want, if you can show me one satellite. Well, if all of that, all of the pictures that we get officially from NASA are all CGI, yeah. what conclusions could somebody come to? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know, and so what does this look like? You know, what does that look like? Is that a ground tower? Right, <laughs> a bunch of ninth graders. You know, science science experiment. This is what they tell us a satellite looks like before it goes into quote space. Oh, so they have Yeah, but where is it? It's on the ground, right? The establishment. NASA. And what does NASA have to gain out of any of this? Okay, so for example, if they make us believe when we're younger that we grew up on a spinning ball flying billions of miles through space... We don't. Okay. No, I just... Hear me out. 
Yeah. Hear me out. Um, I'm mocking NASA. I'm not mocking you. I'm not. I'm mocking my own education because I thought the same thing you did 18 months ago. Okay. How did you like change your? What I'll happened? I'll bring you to that. <laughs> um, but if if they make us believe that we live on a spinning ball, okay, that limits the lands and the area, the surface area, right? Because that's 25,000 miles in diameter of Earth, right? So you see a globe. It's about 25,000 miles in diameter. Okay, but what if there was infinite land? Okay, I know it's hard to contemplate infinite, but what if there was an infinite amount of land and they psychologically warfare our minds when we're young to make us believe we live in a globe? And that's where global warming comes in. Because then it makes us the enemy of the globe because we only have Earth, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But what if there's an infinite amount of land. What does that yeah. mean for global warming? Then it just doesn't exist, right? Correct. Yeah. Have you ever looked into Agenda 21 or Agenda 30? No. Yeah. It actually makes humans the enemy of Earth. Yeah. Yeah. And that comes down to euthanasia. That, that, um, global warming isn't real because we have an infinite amount of land and resources. Yep. We have an infinite amount of resources. Well, well then, okay, so you don't think that, like, space and, like, you know how you Go on a rocket. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. You go I, on a you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just don't think that's real? I don't. They all arc. So, okay. like, you don't think that, like, when you fly in a plane and you go, <clears throat> someone can fly a plane around the world and then they get to the place that they thought they were going to go to, if there was infinite land, would they just keep flying forever? Yeah. Can I, can I just give you a, just a really bizarre comparison? <clears throat> um, this is a picture of the UN flag. This is the official flag that's flown in New York of the UN. But it coincidentally looks like a flat earth map. Well, maybe because you can't fly it through the A flag isn't in two dimensions. I know, but what, what they do to us, they mock us regularly. Okay, they what mock us. They gain, though, out of mocking us. Because they know the truth, and if they send us all to public school and make us believe a lie, and they know the truth, how do you know private schools don't tell people that? Maybe I went to a private school. Maybe I went to they did. Private school. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> I did. Maybe your family's not part of the bloodlines that run the earth to know this type of information. You know, that may or may not be true. You know? So then how, did, how did you come to finding this? Um, I've, al know? I've always <laughs> questioned my reality personally. That's just me. I've always questioned. I was born with cystic fibrosis, okay? So I always question why they have not cured my disease okay. and you know <clears throat> the cystic fibrosis foundation now has 3.5 billion dollars yeah. off of an investment that they had with a pharmaceutical company 15 years ago yeah. there's only 70,000 kids with cystic fibrosis on earth right now yeah. so why does a foundation have more money than most countries do okay. right you know same with the Cancer Society. They're never going to cure cystic fibrosis, cancer, because they make more money off the backs of those who are sick. Oh, interesting. Okay, and I'm doing the march at Lake Calhoun on Saturday, and I'm going to inform everybody there that that's true. Because I have an article to cite yeah. and to show that cystic fibrosis may or may not be an act actually a selenium deficiency and not a genetic issue. Okay. And so... You know, I'm kind of, if you want to go, like, to that point of conspiratorial, because conspiracy is just two or three people getting together to talk about something, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but I saw a video called 200 Proofs That the Earth is Not a Spinning Ball 18 months ago or so. Yeah. Um, and it kind of got my wheels turning a little bit. Yeah. Um, a couple of months ago, I stepped away from it because it was information overload, yeah. and I, I didn't really completely buy it. But I was led back to it again after a few months of kind of stepping back. And I had looked into it again, and now I'm here. So, and I do this every day. Here, or I'm going to go to Comic-Con tomorrow at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Yeah, there's a lot of kids who believe in space at Comic-Con, right? Sure. And so I'm just trying to provoke thought. What about, like, I don't know, I'm just curious. What about the people that, like, 
there's astronauts or whatever that yeah. do those like videos, those Facebook Live videos yeah. like, in the International Space Station. Yep. So you just think that that's staged? Um, I don't know all the answers, yeah. you know, but I can give you my opinion. Um, are you familiar with what the Vomit Comet is? No. Yeah. Okay, a Vomit Comet is something that you and I, a civilian, can actually pay to go on. And what it does is it climbs to a very high altitude and then it nosedives. Okay. And for about 90 seconds or so, you're able to simulate zero-g gravity. And so my opinion is, is during the ISS, quote, live streams, behind the camera, it's kind of like the fourth wall, because when you watch TV, right, sitcoms, for example, yeah. there's the fourth wall, yeah, 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 where yeah. you never see the camera wall, right? Yeah. That's the same illusion that they give us on the ISS, okay. is that there's, a, there's usually somebody keeping tabs on when they're at zero G, like there's a light up in the top corner that we can't see, that they know they're at zero G. And so they do their... Yeah, that's when they'll do their crazy experiments of, you know, water floating in, quote, space. Yeah. And then when they're not in zero G, they have harnesses around their waist. And so a majority of the time when you're watching the ISS, of the, of the, quote, astronauts, you'll only see waist up. No, I... Oh, okay, I see what you're See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying all the time. I'm saying most... Oh, yeah. I'm saying most of the time you'll you'll see them waist up and the background is green screen okay interesting yeah see i don't know if i agree with that i mean i i, I, guess, I know like, yeah it's yeah, new I, you know i've never been to space i've just thought received provoking. this information yeah. yeah why do i believe what i believe i i thought the yeah. same way uh, you know so i'm not i'm certainly not trying to mock you i'm really trying no, to be honest yeah, here I, I, and and give you this information so hopefully it can spark something a month from now because a lot of people don't think it's like well, what's the big deal right um, and I can't explain that until you know until you start going down that rabbit hill Interesting. you know so yeah so that's really all I got no I appreciate y'all listening and uh, you know 200 proofs the earth isn't a spinning ball um, flat earth clues you know there's a lot of information out there and I have a YouTube channel that I do this every day it's called Authentic Social Experiment. Type it in and you can watch all my other stuff and see my interactions with people. So, Interesting stuff. Well, that's all I got. Yeah. So, I mean, let's see if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'm going yeah, to walk, walk around yeah. and, yeah, hit up yeah, some more people. Here. Right? Yeah. So, no, I appreciate yeah, you listening and fun. just being open-minded. So, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. You too. No, they won't, Steve. I called the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and they said it will be over 20 years. I don't have 20 years. There's kids dying right now in the hospital. Okay? There's kids dying right now in the hospital of a fake disease that they suppress information of. And if you want to believe that, that's your opinion, man. That's fine. <clears throat> See if these guys are hey guys, how you doing? Good. <laughs> Good. I was just wondering. I, I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. I'm just kind of doing a social experiment. Questions about what? This statement here. Satellites don't exist. Yeah. Satellites don't exist. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, just kind of Google image satellites in space. All you get are CGI's. Earth from space, CGI. So, I don't know. I know it's not something important right now, but maybe you'll be drawn to it like a month from now or something, but everything NASA gives us is all computer rendered. So, space isn't real. <laughs> I know. Yeah, have a good afternoon. Thanks. All right. This guy's balancing. Apparently he was going to go... He's going to go do Cirque du Soleil. You know? See what these fellas are doing. See what these guys... A lot of hammocks around here. <coughs> hey, how you guys doing? Good, how are you? Hey. Good <laughs> I was just, uh, I'm just walking around kind of doing a social experiment. You mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Um, 
What do you think about this statement here? Satellites don't exist. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's, that's a pretty bold that's statement. Pretty bold. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. What if I was to be able to kind of lean you in the direction that uh, the statement might be true? Um, I'd be open I to love that. conspiracy theories, so like, go ahead. Okay. Um, no planes? No, no planes? No planes. Like, there's no planes out in outer space? No, like 9-11, no planes? Oh. They don't exist? No, like, planes never hit the towers. Oh. Yeah. made up? Yeah, they, they CGI'd planes over missiles. I mean, you said you were conspiratorial, well, I, you know, yeah, so like... 9-11's like my number one conspiracy okay. theory. Okay. I don't think it happened. Okay. Like, I think it happened. Yeah. It was an inside job, obviously. Okay, yeah, awesome. Yeah, but what about no planes? No planes? Do you think it was like from the inside? Uh, well, I think that they used missiles and they CGI'd airplanes over that because... Uh, that, I don't think there's any I was talking about like, the moon landing with someone this morning. Yeah. Or just like airplane debris. And, like, like, think about an, right. an airplane exploding. Like, yeah. In the middle of New York City or just like... You know, like, there'd be, like, you know, like, giant, yeah. giant, like, area of, like, damage. I know, right? Yeah. So, yeah, aluminum can fly through a steel structure. I don't know. If you if you ever YouTube or uh, Google image uh, airplanes hit by birds, okay? So check that out. That should give you a better understanding that airplanes can't fly through steel buildings. Well, they wouldn't have made it through, and they yeah. wouldn't have made it, like... What happens when birds are hit? Uh, they completely destroy the nose of an airplane. Birds do? Yes. That's insane. Yeah. So, like, you're saying airplanes are, like, just, like, ridiculously light? Yes. <laughs> yep. That's... I, Check it out. About. Yeah. So, um, does this look like a picture of a real satellite? It looks like a stereotypical one. Right. But, yes. I mean, that's does this look... Yeah, that's that's that are, yeah, that is what we... There you go. Okay, because I, I thought the same way 18 months ago. I thought, like, hey, you know, big deal, right? Um, what about, like, this guy here? Does that look like a picture of a real satellite? I would say... I would say I'd believe... If you told me that was a satellite, I would believe it. Me like, too. that's not what I have in my head. I don't actually know what satellite Yeah, <laughs> right? Like, that's... Uh, yeah. I've never seen one in real life. Right. Neither have I. But yeah. this is what they tell us they look like before they go into, quote, outer space. Yeah. But where is this satellite? I don't know. Where is know. this? No, we have no evidence. But, I mean, from the picture, where does this satellite show it to be? On the ground. Like, yeah, somewhere. yeah, it's on the ground, right? Probably not in space. Probably by a bunch of fifth graders who won a Probably. science, you know, science contest. Yeah. But uh, you know, this yeah, this is CGI. This picture right here. Yeah, that's what we're told to look like. Right. And that definitely looks like a cartoon. <laughs> yeah, right. And if you Google image satellites in space, get guess what you get? That. This. Everywhere. All the time. Does but that make sense? Really like. No, because they don't exist. So what's the social experiment? Okay, so 99% of all communication done on Earth is through fiber optics and ground towers. That makes sense. Okay, and then the other 1% is landlines, Ooh, old school phones. They don't really exist anymore. So, yeah, exactly. Um, so, if that's 100% of all communication done on Earth is through wires on the grounds and ground towers, where do these come in? Insane. I've never thought about it like that. I've never thought about it either. So like, what so, like, are the towers? Like, yeah, the so towers. so most radio towers and antennae have line of sight. And they're all on the ground. And they're all on ground. So yep. telephones all work through the ground. Yes. It's like, basically, like, why do they say satellites are, like, for cellular communication? Uh, because they're deceiving your mind and they want to control it. Because satellites don't really exist. Because they don't exist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And so, so walk with me here. Antenna need line of sight. This is our friend Patrick. Hey, Patrick, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing terrific. Um, so, most antennae work on line of sight, okay? And if there's a building or a hill or a long traveling time, there's pointing towers, which is P-O-Y-N-T-I-N-G. Okay. That's your 3G and 4G to communicate over long distances and in areas where there's building obstruction and stuff. I, I absolutely think you're right, because like, when I have cell phone problems, they all tell me that like, I'm like, within, out of reach with the yeah. cell phone tower, but it wouldn't make sense because they all say it's like, through the satellite, but like, is it really? Because... Right? Go downtown crazy. Minneapolis, you'll have connection issues. Yeah. You know, that's why a lot of people want to use Wi-Fi in downtown Minneapolis. And so your Wi-Fi is connected to a router, which is connected to an Ethernet cable, which is connected to fiber optics, which is connected oh, wow. to a tower. There you go. So what? 
satellites play no, no, they have no What's place What's the significance there? Well, the significance is, is that they're deceiving your mind to make you believe that we live in a, on this, which is also CGI. So, if you look at both of these pictures, the United States is a different size. And these are official pictures from NASA. So, the United States is different in both of those pictures? Yeah, you want to look at it? Yeah, check it out, you know? <clears throat> so, they basically have, like, this, like, image of, like, what the world is and just, like, make us believe that's what it is. Yeah. Like, we have no proof of, like... We don't, and we can't. We can't. We're like, just civilians. Yeah, we can't. There's no literally yeah. no way that we can't. <laughs> so... So we... Nah, the one on the right is a false one. Well, they're both false, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, man. I, I, it's hard to believe. I don't think so. I know. But, it's, uh... Mm, it's a lot to think about. It's it is. About. Yeah. And, you know, once you start going down that ho rabbit hole, um, you know, pictures like this really start to make you question your reality. Yeah. Or, like, if, um, the world is flat. Yeah. So, can I give you, like, an illustration? Because you said, like, what was it, like, what's the point, or, like, how are they doing this, or whatever? If, if we grow up in school, like, and we're in first grade, we see the globe, right? That's called predictive programming, programming, you know, you're getting it soldered into your mind that that's our home. And you would never think to question your reality. Because you're taught that, right? And the teachers don't know any better because they're taught it and they're taught it and so on. It's just kind of a, you know, snowballs. But if there was, a, a, for example, an infinite amount of land and an infinite amount of resources, I know it's hard to picture infinite in your mind, but just roll with me here. If there's infinite amount of space and land and the establishment knows that and they want to keep you from knowing that, they'll limit our mind to a 25,000 mile radius globe. That's just insane I'm to sorry. think about. If the Earth's flat... Yep. Right. And infinite. And, and infinite. And also infinite. How does gravity work? Why are we stuck down? Uh, well, the educational system makes you distrust your own common sense, and that goes back to density and buoyancy. So... I know it doesn't make any sense because I also grew up in public school and everything can be explained away by gravity, but if I drop this on the floor, that's just because it weighs more than the air around it and to give it a name and say that this is the end all to be all explanation, that's a religion. It's something to think about. Like, it's honestly something Fundamentally to think about. Like, never, there, never thought sure, of it. yeah, and I, I get where you're coming from, man. You're in school right now, so um, this idea would really never cross your mind. Yeah, no, that makes... That, it just, it's just, a, like, an outside perspective. Yeah. And it just, like, makes you think. It, I hope like, it makes you this, think, like, yeah. this could be true, you know? Like, there's no way that we're <laughs> Yeah, and it's my opinion, mm -hmm. you know? So I'm just trying to provoke thought and just kind of make you question where we live, because if you do live stream the ISS right now on your phone or your iPad or whatever for a reasonable amount of time. Let's say 30 minutes to an hour. Like I know that that's not, doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but I want you to prove me wrong so I can go home. Okay? I wanted, I've been doing this for about a week and I'm tired of doing this because nobody's been able to prove me wrong. But if you can show me a satellite during the ISS live stream, I'll give you a beer for each one that we see. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. The ISS is a lot closer to Earth than <clears throat> any of the satellites are. Are they, though? Yes. It's, okay. It's so close to Earth, and it's moving at such an incredible pace. To... So all your satellites look like this, then, right? I know. A satellite oh. just means something that's revolving around the Earth. But this is a man-made satellite, man, and this is how they tell us we communicate on Earth. Okay. Yeah. What's... So all of your pictures of satellites in your popular science magazine, on Google, wherever, are all CGI. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, where is this coming from? Uh, from everywhere on the internet and popular science, man. Wait, what? Yeah. Because they, they tell you, because it has to be. Why does it have to be? That's what NASA says, man. Wait, NASA says they all have to be photoshopped? Yes, sir. I don't know. Uh, Is that when? bullshit? When did NASA say that? Well, if you just... I mean, I know this is new information. 
you know, so it, it's not going to really make a whole lot of sense to you right now. So I just encourage you, because I don't have all the answers, and I can't, like, s keep citing and giving you evidence. Oh, but I can give you provocative thoughts. Yeah, but I can give you provocative thoughts so that you can go down that bunny tray yourself. So then you can tr start to try understand your reality, man. Because the establishment doesn't send their kids to public school, if that makes any sense. The elite will not send their kids to public school because they want us to be at a lower frequency level than them so that they can continue to mock and ridicule us when I tell you that this is CGI and fake when then they know that the earth is flat and not a globe. I think there's a lot of, I don't know, there's, an, there's a lot of evidence I can back up both sides. There is. Yeah. Yeah, and... Because there's a lot of shit that, like, it would make sense if the world was flat. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it, it wouldn't. But does water curve? But like, but think about... Also, like, they're selling <laughs> private tickets to space. We can, I'm sorry? We can buy private tickets to space now. For how much? For, like, For a lot of money, yeah, but you can go. But okay, but a civilian wouldn't be able to go. I could yeah. do it. Yeah, like, well, yeah, like, if you were rich, you could. You had like, a question? Like six years yeah. off, I could save that much money okay, for space. Water you cannot. doesn't curve, right? Nope. But water is more dense than the air around it, right? And it always finds its level. That's why they call it sea level. You see how they mock us, and they call it sea level. You no, know, but sea level isn't flat everywhere. It is, though. It's, no, it, it, it dips, and it, it goes down and up based on the gravity of the, of the structures around it, you know? It goes down in the marinara trench, and it comes up near land because there's more mass there, and that's gravity. But like think about airplanes. And how they measure, they measure things. Airplanes they don't go around the globe. They like have like, like a triangle <clears throat> to go through. Like, yeah, so. Countries, they go through like one way and then the other. They don't just go straight there. Yeah, no, they do go straight there. So if you. It goes, it goes like. Yeah. It's like a triangle. She's kind of right because if you go on Expedia or Priceline right now and you go from South America to Australia, you won't fly over Antarctica. You can't. It's very rare to find a one way flight from those two locations. Yeah, who the, because who the hell's flying that? But wouldn't it make more sense to go from one point to another as the shortest distance between two points? Instead of going, yeah, instead right. of going to a connection the flight? Weather conditions are different over Antarctica and maybe there's different... But you're 40,000 feet in the air, man. So how does... how does weather that high. I've been on a lot of flights internationally and I've never seen clouds 40,000 feet in the air. Well, there's not clouds, but there's Have you been on an international flight have, before? Yeah. Okay, have you seen clouds? Not clouds, but wind. Oh, okay. Yeah, wind? Wind! Okay. What they factor in when they make the course, because what has the best headwind, what has the best tailwind? I know, I know, man. I know you want to believe that, and this is new information for you. Why would they want to waste fuel? Did you know that when an airplane stops at a spot to fuel up, <laughs> it's, it's not called a connecting flight? So, like, on a one-way flight... An airplane can stop at a spot, not unload any passengers, refuel, and that's... That. <clears throat> yeah, they do. They do. They do do that. And that's how they deceive your mind into believing that you're flying on a globe and not possibly on a flat earth. How would it... So, if it's a flat earth, then they never have to stop to get gas? I'm sorry? If it's a flat Earth, do they never have to stop to get gas? They do, but my point Where is... Where did it come from if the Earth was... Yeah. I'm sorry, what? How do, you, how do you explain wind if the Earth's flat? Uh, well, you can't explain wind because it goes wherever it wants to go. You can't predict no. wind. Yes, you can. Uh, not from, not generally, it no. From more dense areas to less dense areas. It always does that. But you're it basing this on a globe model and gravity. What? You're basing your concepts and your idea of reality through the globe model and in gravity. Yeah, well, see, the reason that I'm doing that is not because the establishment has taught me something, but because I am constantly feeling gravity at literally always in my life. But you were taught gravity by the public Right, but I was also taught gravity that when I was born, I fell out. But you so fell out because you... I know, I know, up. man. I know. So, so you can measure God? I didn't say that. There well... Okay, so, but you can't... He doesn't like me. Okay, but, yeah, he does. He died for you, so he does like you. No. Um, and so, okay. you can't measure... Oh, this is, this is, this is, is surprising. Surprising. But I'm... <laughs> but it's a 
another thing completely to try to get me to believe God. No, it's not, it's not because because what's more powerful, God or gravity? Gravity. Gravity is okay. So that's your God. So that's your God. No, that's not what oh, I'm saying. Oh, okay. I only believe in science. You only believe in science. You know, a student said that a couple days ago when he said, "If science tells me that light is red and I see it as blue, I believe science." Does that make any sense? I don't know what you mean by that, but science is real whether you believe it or not. I believe in science. I was born with cystic fibrosis. So I understand science. That, why? I, I bet there's a lot and of biology. cystic fibrosis that don't understand science. Yeah, but you're not letting me hear out, okay? So if you could just let me speak. Um, I understand some parts of science. I don't know everything. I understand biology and all that, looking in a microscope and understanding the human body. That's science. But to incorporate that into being able to land on the moon or Mars, that's a deception, and that's a lie. <laughs> and you can't put those two in the same boat. So, so if you want, you can uh, YouTube the moon, Jupiter. There's a video, a two hour long video of the moon and Jupiter being seen through super high zoom lens. Uh, yeah, you can do it with a telescope. Yeah, sure. So, I'll buy you a beer for every satellite that you see pass through, pass by the moon. In between the moon and, and your camera. It should just be a, a black dot and then we can, and I can go home. There's no light in space for you to, for you to be able to see it. There's no light emitted by the satellites. Oh, but I hear people, but I just had conversations with people a few minutes ago that said that they see a light in the so sky and that's a satellite. So, what do, so, so, so yeah, let's just suppose that all this I'm is true people. and you're right. I don't know why. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help your question your reality. Yeah, and then, but then what do we do with it? Like, I don't know, man. That's up to you, you when, where you go. I hope so. Are we being deceived on who the establishment is? Yeah. the establishment? I mean, if you want to mock and ridicule me, that's totally your opinion, man, and you can do that. But I'm trying to just open your mind to a different level of understanding that may or may not have ever crossed your mind. Well, I appreciate so. what you're trying to do, just like make everyone question their shit. But at the same time, people are so stubborn, especially in Minnesota, they, they will stick to whatever they believe. Okay. Which, is, which is like, it's, it's different because like, it, you're on a campus with very open-minded people. Yep. At the same time, a lot of people stick to their ground. They like stick to their roots. They stick with like what they were taught. But at the same time, like I don't know, I'm the type of person who just like questions literally everything. So what you're All saying is like doing benefit. Like, it's are, like, beneficial. The most curious people. I'll tell you what though, if if whatever you're saying is true, you're never gonna get people to believe it. Yeah. Hey. No, no I, agree. You know. I agree. Two years ago, I didn't think the same thing. It never crossed my mind. But now I'm here doing this every day. So, I mean, does the testimony of me doing this every day hold a little bit of validity that maybe at least one of the things that I said may or may not be true? No, not to me. Sure, and that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you don't know me from Adam. But I do have a YouTube channel called Authentic Social Experiment. Check it out, and then you can see what I do on a daily basis. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. You know, check it out. It's up to you. You know? No, I'm on Facebook Live. Yeah. So, and I up and I upload my videos from Facebook onto YouTube at the end of every night. And so... I think it's great what you're doing. Honestly. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. people don't believe what you're doing, like, as long as you're, like, doing what you like to do, and that's, like, standing up for what you believe, I think that's amazing. Great. I think you should keep doing it. No matter how ridiculous people think that you are, it's it's great just like. I used to be a salesman. Okay. Yeah. I guess. That's how I became comfortable in talking to people in the public because I used to be where a lot of people are, you know. So I'm not gonna like uh, discredit where a person's at, you know. I want to get people where they're at because not everybody knows everything, and I don't know everything. But when I when I feel like very strongly about something, and I've never done this before. But I do feel very strongly about the coincidences that all we get about satellites in space, Earth from space, are all CGI. I just scratch my head and I'm like, okay, what else is there? What other things are they deceiving us with? So. Well, here's, all right. Here's yeah. a good question. So, 
We're kind of anti-establishment, right? I am very much so, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the largest establishments to ever exist is the Catholic Church, right? Yeah, I was just at one this morning. But you believe in God. Uh, well, see, that's the thing, is I don't, I don't believe that the Catholic Church is the end-all to be-all. I don't think that they speak for Christians. My relationship... That's my rela Catholics, I'm sorry? I'd say they probably speak for Catholics, not Christians. Yeah, right? most likely, yeah. And the, and the establishment uses Cath Catholicism in all of, their, all of the movies. You'll never see somebody like me, who just has a relationship with Christ, on a movie. It's always a priest or somebody wearing the collar to represent, that's the representation of God in Hollywood movies. And so my relationship with Christ is just that. It's like I'm talking to you guys. You know, I'm just like, hey guys, what's up? If I do something wrong, I don't go to a priest to forgive me of my sins. I talk to Christ, and he is the mediator between us and God. And that's in 1 Timothy 3. So there's only one person that you can communicate to to talk to God. But basically what I'm getting at is, yeah. if, we're anti, <clears throat> if you're anti establishment, yep. how can you possibly be a Christian? Because that's like literally the largest establishment and longest standing establishment. Yeah. And so don't you think that they've been brainwashing you? No. Until recently, American Catholics were literally speaking Latin prayers without knowing their translations. Mindless <laughs> saying prayers that they didn't know the, like, the, the true yeah. meaning of. Yeah. Like, yeah it was there. literally robotic repetition. Right. And, like, there was no thought behind it. So, like, until recently, there was no free thinking or. No, there still isn't. There still isn't, but especially before the, the, they yeah. brought in the. the, the and now it's like with your spirit instead of, I'm also with you. Yeah, and also, <laughs> and also with you. you. And also, and right. Easter. And with your yeah. spirit. <laughs> and I come across a lot of kids who were who grew up in the Catholic Church type of deal. I confirmed, yeah. yeah. And they hate and they hate God. No. Yeah. You know, and I understand where they're coming from. <clears throat> it didn't. It, uh, Ten years ago, I'm 36 now, and 10 years ago is when I believed. So I was 26. So it took a process of me experiencing life and understanding that there is one truth in this reality, and that's God. Everything else doesn't matter. Away from God. And that's why they use the ball earth as a conduit of evolution. And so a lot of people have testified on YouTube with video to say that they were not a Christian before, but then when they started researching flat earth, it brought them to a relationship with God. Now whether or not you know, I should go around and say, hey, Flat Earth, let's, you know, praise Jesus. I don't do that. Because he, nobody's ever showed me a picture of the DirecTV satellite. I looked, I really honestly looked, and this is the picture that I got when I was looking for a satellite of DirecTV. You know, satellite TV, you know, satellite radio. I can't find any pictures of, of Cirrus satellite radio in the space. <laughs> I think that's because there's no market of people who want to buy pictures of those. But why not just take a picture of that though, you know? Why would they? They have no reason to. Well, I mean, to prove it, if all the pictures of Earth from space are CGI and we've been to the moon, <clears throat> shouldn't we have an actual real photo of the Earth from space and not CGI? <laughs> how does this change yeah. like how someone lives? How does knowing all these things like change the way someone lives? Because the way I'm Do living right now like is like <laughs> the same as it would be if I believed the other thing, and like I think I'd be just as happy. Like I don't think it would change my way. Of, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Earth's flat. Taught, my life has changed. Are like, you married right now? No. Okay, so you can't contemplate in your mind what it would be like to fall in love with a girl and want to marry her and live with her forever. I'm a very gay man. Well, whatever. But I mean, would it would it ever cross your mind to marry a guy and fall in love with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you have a boyfriend right now that you love? No. Okay. <laughs> so until you have that experience, <laughs> are you, do you want a boyfriend or whatever? I do not. Okay. I'm also very gay. Okay. So 
until you experience somebody that you want to live the rest of your life with, I can't explain to you what it would be like to understand that we live on a flat earth and not a globe. I, I'm honestly, like, I... Does that make sense? not the first time I've heard of, like, the flat earth theory. Okay. But, like, I do get more convinced every time I hear it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's just the gravity thing that gets me, man. It's, like, yeah. a lot of shit, actually. Like, what, if the flat was earth, like, if the, if the world was see. flat, why was Christopher Columbus believed to be wrong? Like, he no. thought the whole world was flat also. No, well, he was sent no, by the Catholic Church. No, no, he didn't think that, though. The, the, the Greeks figured out that the world was a, gro a globe by putting two sticks in the ground like this and But also, the church, was, the church proposed the Earth was flat initially. Yeah. yeah. And the church sent Christopher Columbus to a country that already had people no, in it. No, the church didn't send them. Yeah, the Catholic Church did. It was no, the Catholic monarch. Church. Okay, well, that's up to you. Um, this is my opinion of what I've read, but they do tell us that Christopher Columbus discovered America when there were already people here. So you can't really yeah. discover something where somebody already lives. Yeah, he didn't discover it anyway. Europeans were there before him, anyways. Vikings. <clears throat> so who are the elite that are like feeding us this? This shit. Are they um, Like, are they like some like high up like? Does this go with like the Illuminati and like? Sure. Them having like government. Are there rich, 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 white Europeans? Like yeah, your Rockefellers, your Rothschilds, Rosicrucians. It's just like the capitalist. You know, yeah, the, your royalty. They have bloodlines, you know, so if you do research bloodlines, all of the presidents who have ever been president of the United States are all related. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that! I'm That's to so you crazy! Too, though, right? If that's true, but uh, I mean, yeah, because of Adam and Eve. Right. Right, but... So, of course they're all related, because no, they're all related. No, no, I mean, like, very much, like, cousins. I like to Who's think that I'm from Obama. <laughs> Who's cousins with Obama? Who? You gotta look into it, man. No one. I know, it sounds, it sounds crazy. It does, but... They're not ever gonna, they're not ever gonna let us marry somebody that's part of the establishment because we have corroded blood basically we don't have the bloodlines that they have that's why they all intermarry with each other but they don't do that anymore they do it yeah Hi. kate winslet what what about her kate kate win sure but you don't know her personally do you no, so all your information that you get about Hollywood, politics, and everything are given to you by the establishment on TV, right? Oh, I think it very well be a Hunger oh Games situation. Kate! <laughs> Kate! So cute. I agree. Some I dystopian think, bullshit. I think we're probably four, Hi, years, four or five years Hi, from Kate. Hunger Games. Kate. Right? <laughs> and what is Hunger Games? It's a dome, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the games are. So. Well, she shot the arrow up into the dome, right? Have you ever seen the Truman Show? Yes, I love that movie. That's predictive programming right there. It totally is, yeah. I mean, something to think about, Dark City. You ever seen Dark City? I haven't. Check that out. You know, that's more predictive programming. That the whole city is in a dome. So... What about, what about theories that are like, everything's a simulation? <laughs> Um, I don't necessarily agree with that because, actually, you know what? I did a whole video about that yesterday, <laughs> to be honest with you. I watched a two-hour presentation of Neil deGrasse Tyson talking to five other scientists on a panel about simulation theory. That's so cute. He's just playing I think it's fascinating, but simulation theory takes away our human or organicness, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to incorporate, like, with CERN... Um, and the D-Wave computer, if they punch in their algorithm of what they believe the theory of relativity to be, and they put it into a supercomputer, and they press enter, the supercomputer will play out their theory, and then they will try to manifest that into our reality using CERN. Does that make sense? CERN is a massive particle collider. I know it is. I'm very familiar with what CERN is, yeah. Did you know that they're opening a new one up in China? Yeah. Right? 
So Why is that bad? It's awesome. No, it's not it's because because oh the the <laughs> they're they're affecting our reality and they're changing the way oh people oh people's God. consciousness is. They are. I think they're advancing us. No, they're they're drawing us away from our organic human side. No, yeah. I wish we weren't organic. I wish that we were all <clears> produced <throat> in a the lab. The mom always wins. And then we would all be the perfect. And they would give some of us like extra the mom oxygen and we'd be wins. smarter and be put in like leadership ask, ask Karen. Some of us ask, would get less oxygen. Who is going to tell you? <laughs> 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 and we would be, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be completely happy with that profession our entire life. We would be so you want to be connected <laughs> like like before like before Neo like before when Neo broke out of the Matrix? You know when he pulled the thing out of the back of his head? You haven't seen the Matrix? Yep. Yes, that world is what I want. Okay. <laughs> can I can I implore you not to think that way? Because I know that's a scary thing because you don't want to you don't want to fall into the beast system. That's the that's the Google beast system. They want us as humans to be connected to a Google global system. Oh my God! Can't wait. Wait, is it really global? Or is it more? Well, I'm just using that terminology so you understand. You know? You know, so what I'm saying? Like, they want us all connected together in a massive supercomputer consciousness. I want that. No, you don't. I, I gotta say, I haven't experienced it yet, and I really want to try. Because I've done this. It would explain why we're all getting more stupid. Well, yeah. I would say so. I think technology has made children very lazy with their education yeah. and have, have made them depend on Google and the internet. Yep. Yes, I'd say so, but I'd also say when else in history has a five year old been able to tell you? In the 1960s and 70s, people were writing papers and having to read. I was like, what the fuck is sand? Like, what is sand? Hundreds of books and like write all the bibliographies by hand and fucking like edit them and like think about like. But you also have to. What standard were they held to versus what standard are we held to? I don't know. Their standard was definitely higher. I don't know if you can say that, man. Okay. Well, we can. What if they're using technology to dumb us down? And the food and GMOs and vaccines and all that. GMOs did not exist. We would have a massive hunger problem. Are you sure? GMOs that we don't. GMOs taste so good. I love them. <laughs> Alright, so I mean... They taste amazing. And they're the reason why food is the price that it is. It would be a lot higher cost. Alright, well... Much more inefficiently without them. I would suggest looking at alternative ideas about GMOs, vaccines, and the like. Okay, and... A, a, I, what? Are you anti that too? Yeah. How? Yeah. Oh my god. Asperger's, autism, I have autism, people dying. Yeah, do you take? Die from autism. But do you take like a, your yearly flu shot and stuff? No, actually, I okay. don't. I'm too fucking lazy. To <laughs> get a free flu shot. Well, good. I mean, that's. Hey, I'm, buy I'm just giving you my opinion on 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 my experience. I don't, it's gotta be the vaccines. Yeah. Well, it may be a combination of a lot of things, like GMOs, chemtrails. Well, the vaccines, bro. <clears throat> so. But I should probably let you guys go. You know, I don't want to wear out my welcome, if you will, but authentic social experiment on YouTube. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks, man. I'd encourage you to just to just think in an alternative manner. Stick with her. She might know a couple of things. For sure. We appreciate So. I appreciate you guys listening, though. Have a good day. Yeah, you guys have a good weekend. Thanks. See ya. Bye. All right.